re regardless of what Fordham's record is, that, that team plays extremely hard, uh, the best defensive team by the numbers in our league. And, um, and I'm, I'm just glad that our guys came out and were able to, to, to make some, some, some plays that, that created separation early in the second half. Uh, it's a ton of respect for Jeff. Uh, he's a LaSalle alum, and, and, and we're, we're really proud of him and, um, and, and what he's accomplished in, in his coaching career. I thought it was I thought it was awesome. The, the one thing is like Jared Kimbrough's been hurt, and like he's so valuable for us because he gives us a different dimension defensively. And um, you know he he was starting to turn the corner, then he got a concussion right before the Rhode Island game, and then you know he was out for a while, and then you know when you're out with a concussion you can't do anything, so it took him you know a couple weeks just to get back in the game shape. So. You know, I, I told our guys, man, now that we have our whole team, you know, we, we should go into this thing with like a almost like a new season mentality where like we got six games left in the regular season. Let's look at this as a new season, fresh start, and, and let's see, you know, what we can do these, these last six games as we head into Brooklyn. Um, straight game, you had a different lineup. So, when you, you know, went out there with this lineup today, just what were you looking for from them and, and what did you think? I, I'm looking for guys that are just ready to set the tone. And we talk about setting the tone defensively, rebounding. Um, you know, there, there have been games where we've, you know, we've gotten stops, and the other team crushes us on the glass, like St. Louis. And even in the St. Joe's game, early in the game, we were able to get stops, but there were like 50-50 balls, offensive rebounds that we didn't come up with. So it's important for us to, to set the tone. I think when we set the tone the right way, it gives our team energy, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of. The, the way the group started the game today. As you mentioned, that Fordham is a very good defensive team. You happy with the defensive effort that you showed because you were able to limit them even more? Yeah, I, I, I am. I am. And, and it was a team effort. I thought, you know, in the first game, we got up big on them, and then they just drove us. And we got in foul trouble and gave up easy baskets. and and left a couple open guys for, for threes, and they got back in the game to the point where, you know, it, you know we, were, we were on the ropes at Fordham in, in, uh, in early January. So it, it was important for us to play 40 minutes of LaSalle basketball where we're guarding them, we're rebounding, and the guys that are coming in the game are still giving the maximum effort, and, we're, and we stay connected for 40 minutes. And I think this was probably our best defensive effort of the season in terms of our ability to just remain connected. Yeah, it was, it was a point of emphasis, but you know that the way, the way um, Fordham plays, that they're going to get threes because they do a good job of, of moving the ball, moving the ball, and then getting in a ball screen. And they force teams to just to react to the ball screen, and then they move the ball and get their shooters threes. So the one thing we wanted to do is just make sure that every shot they took was a contested shot. And I thought we did a good job of that today. I told him, I said, dude, you, you have to be the guy that, that sets the tone for us. You have to be the guy that is defending, rebounding, playing hard, playing with effort. And then if we have you, you know, out there setting the tone that way, I think other people will, will follow your, your lead and react to your energy. So I'm proud of uh, C. Ray. He did a great job of, of, of bringing that energy. He always rebounds the ball. And, um, and you know, I thought he did a – I thought he – you know, he, he played a huge part in, in this win today. Kind of midway through the second half, yeah, Christian Ray hit the three to just beat the, the shot clock. They had a little bit of run after that. Is a small play like that something that gave the team a lift that they kind of needed at that point? Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. We got lucky because Sharif lost the ball and just flipped it to C. Ray at the, at the last second. But you know what? I, I give Christian credit. You know, there's, there's not a harder working kid on our team comes in here every day, he's shooting like, you know, most of the time if I'm in the office early or late and I hear the door open and I know it's not one of our staff, it's usually him. So, you know, that's his gym upstairs. So like when he's 
upstairs in Gola, like that's like him being in his bedroom shooting because nobody spends more time up there than him. So, you know, sometimes it's, it's better to be lucky than good. And um, we got lucky that we got him the ball um, with, with one second left. And, and, and you know, he, he did what he does every day. He, he made an open shot. You know, it's one of those things where I tell our I tell our coaching staff, if you're not willing to go games where you're seven for thirty, then you'll never have a game where you can catch fire and and hit twelve to fifteen threes in a game, right? So, you know, I never want to discourage our players from shooting because I think that's the worst thing that you can do for a player's confidence. Sometimes we settle, I know that, but um you know, I would rather our guys have that confidence as opposed to second-guessing themselves and passing up open shots.